I've been looking into getting a smart door lock for my home, mainly for the added security and convenience, but also for situations like one that happened to me the other day. I was out running errands and getting some lunch, while at the same time my in-laws stopped by our house to visit and bring us something. My wife was home but didn't hear them knock, so they left the package between the doors and got back in their car. My in-laws got a hold of me and let me know they'd been here and left me something, but if I'd had a smart door lock, I could have remotely unlocked my door and let them in. There's a lot of different smart locks out there, providing different levels of ease of installation, convenience, and security. I found one that gets high marks on all three of those, the Bozma Aegis Smart Door Lock. Bozma provided the Aegis lock to me free of charge to review, but I don't do reviews unless I really think it's a product that will benefit me and you both. Bozma is launching the Aegis lock on Amazon on April the 6th, 2021. The lock is already reasonably priced, but if you purchase the lock on that day, I have a coupon code for you to use that will give you 50% off. You can get the lock at half price, and that's a huge deal. So let's take a look at the Aegis Smart Door Lock. It offers auto lock and unlock, phone unlock, fingerprint unlock, and that's enabled if you have the Sentry doorbell with the fingerprint reader, remote unlock, Access management, so you can add family members and temporary guest access. AES-128 encryption, door breaking detection, door open alerts, easy installation, no external sensor needed, compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant for voice control, and no outside keypad that can be damaged, stolen, or affected by the weather. The whole device is mounted on the inside part of your door. Now let's see what's in the box. You get the Aegis Smart Lock, a plug-in Wi-Fi gateway, four AA batteries, three lock adapters, and installation instructions. They also include an adhesive strip and that'll come in handy during the installation process. I'm going to go grab a Phillips screwdriver and get this installed. The first thing you want to do is fix the deadbolt into place. So take the adhesive strip from the box and put it over the outdoor part of the deadbolt. That keeps it from falling whenever the thumb turn is removed from the inside of the door. Then shut your door and turn the deadbolt so it's locked. Then using a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to take both of the screws out of the thumb turn. Put those screws aside, but keep them close because you're going to need them again pretty soon. And pull the thumb turn off. Now you want to take the smart lock and remove the base plate off the back of it. So turn it around and flip the two latches down. And then the base plate will come right off. Now we're going to attach the base plate to the door. So with the notch facing downward and this part of the base plate pointing back at you, we're going to mount this to the door. And this flat smooth part will be against the door itself. Take those two screws you just removed, put them through the holes in the base plate, and screw them back into the holes in the door lock. As you tighten the screws down, Make sure that this tail piece is centered in that hole as much as possible. And don't over tighten these. You don't want to damage the surface of your door. Next, take the three adapters and find the one that matches the shape of your tail piece. And for me, it's the one in the middle. I'm going to test fit it on there. That's definitely the right one. And if the adapter fits the tail piece but not the motor, just flip it around because there's a small slot and a bigger slot so you have to get those matched up with the adapter. Before we actually mount the lock on the door, we need to turn it to the locked position. Looking at your door from the inside, if your bolt's on the left side of the door, then you turn the back of the Aegis lock counterclockwise until it stops. If your bolt's on the right side and locks clockwise, then you turn the back of the Aegis lock all the way clockwise until it stops. And when you hit that stop, don't try to force it, you don't want to do damage to the motor inside the lock. So now we're going to mount it to the door. With your door still in the locked position and the Aegis lock in the locked position, fit it over the tailpiece and make sure it's flush, flat up against your door. Once it is, push both the levers down and that secures it to your door. Now we're going to power on the lock. To do that, just remove the front of the lock. It's held on there by a magnet. So it comes right off. There's a little cover there over the battery compartment and two AA batteries go on each side. Both sides are installed with the positive terminal pointing up. You just push them in over these strips. Those strips make it easier to take the batteries out when you need to change them. Once you put that last battery in, it'll light up briefly. That indicates it's powered on. And after you've installed the batteries, don't put this little cover back in. 
Then you can put the face plate back on. Now we're ready to set up the Aegis lock with the Bozma app. To set up the lock, download the Bozma app. It's available from Google Play or the App Store. Then register and set up an account. Select Add Device. Then select the device to add. It gives you a visual list and down at the bottom is Aegis. Select that. It says open the front cover and install the batteries. We've already done that. And then long press the reset button until the indicator lights turn red. Wait till the lights turn off and press next. So I take the front cover off and long press the reset button. And there the red lights came on. So now I'm going to press the next button and it was added successfully. And I'm going to go ahead and calibrate now. I won't show you all that, but the app will walk you through it. And it says calibration successful. It says select a paired device. The Aegis door lock can be paired with the Sentry doorbell or the Aegis Wi-Fi gateway. I don't have the Sentry doorbell, but I do have the Wi-Fi gateway, so I'm going to choose that. The gateway has a button on top of it. I'm going to plug it in over here. And then I'm going to long press the button on top of the gateway until I see a flashing blue light on the front. There it is. And then within 30 seconds, long press the button in the middle of the lock until you see a green light. There's the green light. And when the flashing blue light goes to steady, then the pairing process is complete. Steady blue light. And the app says pairing successful. I'm going to configure my Wi-Fi network now. And configuration was successful. It also tells me there's a firmware update available, so I'm going to install that. Once everything is set up and updated, the Bozma app makes it easy to control the lock and turn its features on and off as needed. You just tap on the icon in the app to lock it. And it plays a little tune. Tap again to unlock it. With its remote unlock feature, whether you're just across town or a thousand miles away from home on a beach, you can still unlock your door for somebody if necessary. I'm going to test the auto unlock feature now, and for it to be active, you have to have gone at least 600 feet away from your home. So I'm going to drive a little ways away, then come back and see what happens. When you get back home, the door will unlock when you're about 20 feet away from it. Of course, you do need to have your phone on you at the time because the Bluetooth on your phone is what triggers the opening of the lock. It sent me a welcome home notification so it knows I'm close. And it just told me my door has been unlocked, so we'll go check it out. The moment of truth. The door opens, it worked. I'm going to get a lot of good use out of that auto unlock feature. It has an auto lock feature which automatically locks the door after you go in or out, so I'm going to test that out. I'm going to go inside. Shut the door. And it automatically locked itself behind me. So if you turn on auto lock, you never have to worry about accidentally leaving a door unlocked. The Aegis Smart Door Lock is a great product. It only takes about 10 minutes to install, which is amazing. It has a lot of great features, and it's easy to control with the app and it's very affordable. I'm getting a lot of great use out of mine and I think you would too. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.